Before we get into the video, congratulations to Henry Irwin, winner of the Portal Charge sweepstakes. Henry, message me on Discord. We'll get you your three free Portal Charges and some bottled energy and other things. All you got to do for a chance to win is leave a comment on my Facebook and web-specific videos, and then the following day, I'll pick a commenter at random. And if you're looking for an absolutely free way to support the channel or me personally, all you really need to do is let this video play out to the end at least one time. I know my long-term loyal viewers are going to do that, but if you you were new to the channel and you would be interested in supporting a hero wars youtuber like me like i said all you got to do is just watch the video to the end subscribes all of those don't really matter too much when it comes to the channel the actual view duration of the video as well as comments in the comment section actually matter a whole lot more to the channel and to youtube and if you don't have any idea on what kind of comment that you could leave to join the sweepstakes just type in iris counters yasmin i think that would be perfect with the uh, with the theme of the video let's get into it only it's only game why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero War Central, and in this video, I want to discuss an interesting interaction between Iris and Yasmin, and something that I hadn't really thought of before, although I'm sure some of you have. I want to give a shout out to my good buddy, Neckler, from the Global Lappins over on Web Server 29. He accidentally found a way to counter Yasmin. Of course, it's his own Yasmin that gets countered. Real quick, I'm going to pause the fight so that we can take a look at what we've got going on here, who is in the fight and everything. Uh, on the left, the attacking team this is this is knuckler's team you have corvus morgan and vari martha and of course yasmin and on the defending team this was a guild war fight we have aurora sebastian celeste kark and iris i do like the lineup a lot i like it uh, pretty uh, pretty well the issue is that yasmin who's currently attacking iris over there on the far right once yasmin gets going once she ults that first time it becomes very difficult to kill her unless you've got a, you know enough magic damage and a plethora of other ways to counter critical hit heroes and yasmin specifically but once she stacks that dodge up pretty high any physical attacking team and indeed this team on the right the defending team is kind of a physical attacking team whatever you consider the use of kark and uh, the dodge hero of Aurora. There is some magic damage in the form of Celeste, but then you have Iris, and Iris is an interesting counter. So I'm gonna restart the video here, and then we're gonna watch it, and I'm gonna pause it right where Iris becomes a counter for Yasmin. This is a fantastic interaction, and one that I'm gonna consider using in the future. Is it easier to do this? Than to just use Helios or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't really know yet. Maybe it depends on the team. Maybe it depends on who's you know uh, you know whatever. This definitely does not work on defense. If you're if you're the Iris player on defense, then you can't time you can't time when the uh, when you use ult Iris's ultimate. So you can see here that Yasmin's soul has been split because Yasmin was the furthest forward enemy. And of course, to get on the same page here, her ultimate says Iris's ultimate says Iris exposes an unprotected part of the soul in the nearest enemy's body for 13 seconds all damage taken by the soul is transferred to its owner as pure damage so it does not matter how much dodge or armor or magic defense that yasmin has the only thing that matters is any damage that this little soul takes is pure damage directly back over to yasmin cannot be mitigated whatsoever and that damage can be done for 13 solid seconds now in this particular situation here only the rear three heroes turn to fight the soul. So I'm going to start the video again. We're going to cut the, cut the speed down to one quarter just so you can kind of see. Uh, only the rear three heroes are attacking the soul. The Iris, the Sebastian, and the Celeste. But that is actually more than enough damage. Even with Yasmin continuing to do her ultimate ability, that is enough to defeat her. This is an interesting, uh, this is an interesting interaction. I wanted to see if I could replicate it. Uh, with my own situation. So let's uh, let's jump over to Facebook here. And by the way, this is a Facebook and web only video. Iris is not a hero on Hero Wars Mobile. So you cannot use a hero that doesn't exist to counter Yasmin on Hero Wars Mobile. So I've already got this one fight and I was actually able to replicate it the very first time. I put the attacking team, Knuckler's attacking team, I put it as defense and I wasn't 100% sure what the pets were. So I just kind of guessed at it. Same deal with the defensive lineup that, that used Iris. I wasn't sure of what the uh, what the pets were so i just kind of guessed at that as well but the whole thing that i did here was i wanted to wait for iris's ultimate until yasmin used her ultimate jumped over there so let's just watch the fight let's just kind of you know watch it together i do like both team makeups here 
the undead Yasmin uh, and Vari on the right, and the uh, the Holy Trinity with Kark and Iris on the left. So I wasn't able to use Iris's ultimate right there, but we do know that Yasmin spams her ultimate. Uh, of course, she's already pretty low at this point, so I I'm not sure exactly how effective this is as a counter. And again, timing matters here. So as soon as Yasmin jumps over, I use her split soul, and let's uh, let's pause the fight. So you can see the same situation here. You have Yasmin's split soul right here. Again, no defenses on this uh, on this uh, unit whatsoever. Only Iris, Celeste, and Sebastian turns to look at her. Kark and Aurora are still facing forward. I don't know if this is a position thing. If maybe if your team was closer together, maybe if the front line had bigger sprites, like if it was a cleaver, uh, maybe if it was the enemy Anvari, because Anvari has a little bit larger sprite. I don't know if maybe they might turn and look as well, or if it's only always going to be the last three. Maybe if uh, maybe if your Iris is not in the final position, maybe if it's in the uh, the third or the fourth position, then maybe more of your team would turn to look at the enemy Yasmin. And I will say, with as low as this Yasmin got before we were able to use this ability, this kind of goes to say that you know even at, at the absolute high levels, Yasmin starts to really kind of die off. And this testing right here, the one I'm, what I've got on screen, this is max testing, so maxed skins, maxed glyphs, maxed level, maxed skills, everything is maxed with the exception of the Tree of Wisdom and the Ascension. That's currently bugged with max testing but my warrior tree of ascension is the highest of all of the trees so that really shouldn't matter too much to it so we have we have all of these things that are already potentially going to kill yasmin anyway but since i was able to use iris to to time this ability right here let's go ahead and finish the fight y yasmin goes down pretty fast bam she's gone right after the iris used her enemy suck ability her next basic attack was really strong and then i just turned on auto mode to, to finish this fight out you can see i split soul on corvus which instantly burnt him down and uh, we made short work of everybody else So just for fun, let's show the after fight screen. Here's the damage done. Iris doing 4 million damage, Aurora at 1.7, Kark at 1.6, Sebastian at 1.1 million damage. Damage taken, let's see what we've got here. And then here is the healing information. So another fantastic way to counter Yasmin, right? Showing Yasmin's weakness whenever you do get into those high, high tiers of PvP, arena matches, and guild wars. But let me know in the comment section down below if you know of any other interesting counters like this that maybe aren't as well known, that aren't as popular. I do think that I'd love to do more videos like this in the future. This just seemed like a, such a fun counter idea. I, I didn't want to let it go unnoticed. So if you found this video helpful, if you found it interesting, educational at all, please consider leaving a like. We also try to publish a video here on Hero Wars Central every single day, a Facebook web and mobile video. And we also live stream Monday through Friday. So if you'd like to hang out, if you'd like to talk about Hero Wars a little bit more, then uh, please join us. I would love to have you there. Uh, on screen now, I've got a couple of videos talking about Iris and Yasmin. Again, Facebook and web specific videos. I apologize, Hero Wars Mobile. Check those videos out if you've got time or if you want to brush up on your iris or yasmin knowledge i love you all good luck in dominion